Welcome to this tutorial for sal 3 d the library for cloud of points acquisition and manipulation. Today we are going to talk about the CAD import tool and we will see how to use it in a quality control application. For this purpose, let us imagine that we have a production line of some pieces that should match the CAD 3D drawing. These objects can be disposed on a conveyor belt and enter a laser triangulation 3D acquisition system where each object will be scanned and checked against the CAD model. The result of the comparison will be a disparity map, an image representation in metric units of the difference between the object and the CAD along the scan surface. Multiple stages can provide scans for different surfaces of the same object coming over the conveyor, comparing them to the same CAD model. South 3D offers the software solutions to do all the processing from the 3D acquisition of the camera laser to the disparity map. This disparity map can then be easily processed with any 2D machine vision toolkit to take decisions based on the differences between the objects and the CAD. To prepare the quality control application, we need to go from the mechanical design of the acquisition system to the South 3D object CAD comparison and then the decision taking algorithm. In this video, we will focus on the object CAD comparison. First, we will use the South 3D CAD import tool with the CAD file of the object we will scan. In this example, a spa turbine from the company ESPA. This will allow us to set up the quality control application based on the surfaces of the CAD we are interested in, exporting them as clouds of points of ideal scans. Then we will scan that object on the conveyor belt using laser triangulation system calibrated with the South 3D metric tool. We will show how much 3D can quickly align any scanned cloud of points of those objects with the ideal surface coming from CAD and show the disparity map image. We will use this test environment for the scans that for our purposes works as a production line conveyor belt. We are going to check the blight side of the object and thus we will dispose the object in this orientation. This determines what side of the CAD drawing we will take as we set up the quality control. Another parameter we need is related to matching the 3D coordinate system of the scans with the coordinate system coming from the CAD. Throughout this tutorial, we will use the examples distributed with the South 3D library. These examples consist of different simple applications each with the feature set limited to the functionality of every South 3D tool. By combining different examples, we can achieve the same result that a programmer could reach by coding a final quality control application using different South 3D library tools. These examples are distributed with their source code so that anyone can check how to use the library to do any specific task. To get the necessary parameters required for the quality control application, we will proceed with an initial scan of the object using our test acquisition system. As you can see, we place the turbine under a camera laser system with a simple 2D camera and, thanks to the PicFinder tool, we are obtaining the object's profiles in a single range map. Although in this example we use the South 3D software PicFinder, we could have used a 3D laser triangulation camera instead, like the ones from Photon Focus, Automation Technology or Seek IVP. Those cameras would provide also a range map, with very high speeds and zero CPU usage. We used the PicFinder example of South 3D to perform the scan, but for a programmer using South 3D, this means only a few lines of code, especially when using the supported frame grabbers. The manual of the library shows some simple code for that. Ok, now that we have scanned the object, we will convert it to a metric cloud of points. To do that, we previously calibrated the system with the South 3D metric tool. With that tool, no matter how we dispose the camera and the laser, we scan a known object and it generates a file that stores all the parameters that can quickly transform any range map to a cloud of points in accurate metric units. We have stored the range map data to this CAPTCHA scanning in the ARM format now I'll start the South 3D core example and open the range map.
Now I'll load the calibration parameters of our system to get the copy metric units. When we calibrated the Z position system, we determined the absolute coordinates of the cloud of points. We can show the 3D axis in space that originate at the 000 coordinate. Now that we have the cloud of points, we'll save it and we'll finish this first step. As you can see, with the metric parameters of a calibrated system, a programmer can convert any incoming range map to a COP with a single line of code. We will now take the CAD file and convert the surface of interest into a cloud of points so that it can be used by Match3D, the first Sol3D surface aligner. Every scan will come over the conveyor in a slightly different orientation, so we will use the Match3D to align the pieces prior to each comparison. The Match3D tool works with clouds of points, not with CAD drawings. We can get the COP surface from a CAD drawing using the CAD import tool of Sol3D. We will open the CAD drawing that we previously exported to the standard format IGS. This is the 3D model of the turbine. We can rotate or zoom it. Now, we want to obtain a cloud of points of the surface we are going to scan, so that they can be aligned with Match 3D. CAD import takes the surface as seen on the screen viewport, also considering the window borders. It works like sampling in 3D the model representation the user is seeing at the time of generating the cloud of points. We will move the turbine to a similar position, carrying on the zoom so the object appears fully in the window, and we will ask for that virtual scan which will generate the cloud of points. In order to select the resolution in both the X and Y axis, we will use similar parameters to the ones coming from the scanner. This way, we will not have either too few or too much information compared to the scans, although too much information will only have some effect on the speed of the analysis. We can use the conveyor belt as reference for the X resolution, and it was about 350 microns in our test environment. For the Y axis, we had 1024 pixels resolution on the scan pattern. As the object was about 15 centimeters, we will divide and obtain a resolution of about 150 microns. This process can be quite slow, taking some minutes, but it has to be done only at the time of planning the machine. The resulting ideal cloud of points will be saved to disk and will work for every latest scan. The quality control application will not deal with the IGS CAD file. It will only load the cloud of points, the code file of the generated surface. OK, we'll move forward then. This is the obtained cloud of points coming from the CAD file. I'll save it and now we are going to scan the objects. Now we have obtained the first parameter required for proper automatic comparison in a quality control machine and it only remains matching the absolute coordinates of both CAT import COP and the scanned COPs. We have two files of the same surface from different sources, one with the ideal scan from CAT import and another of an object coming under the laser. The scan should be representative of how the objects will be placed on the conveyor belt, so we can take its position, the 3D coordinates, as a reference for any object to come. I'll open the Match3D tool example, provided with the Sol3D library. We plan to use Match3D for the fast alignment of every object that we scan, but the basic Match3D can only solve near misalignments. For this reason, we will have to bring the copy imported from the CAD close to the scanned reference object. So, we will first load the scanned COP as the reference model, and the ideal COP as the part to be moved. As you can see, Although they represent the same object surface, they are far and misaligned due to different coordinate systems. We can use the Sol 3D Match 3D Course Alignment tool, which is an extension allowing to match surfaces when the proximity and position requirements are not fulfilled. Okay, as you can see, 
much as he moved the ideal cop to the position of the scanned reference object. We can now save it with its new position by saving the moving part. This is the code we will load in our online quality control application as ideal surface to compare to. As this will be much closer to any object scanned, much CD will be enough to get a good alignment and later comparison. If we did not have the much CD course license or the course alignment was not working due to some shape limitations, we could have used simple manual alignment for this step, because we only want to put the pieces close. Now we could apply much CD, as we would do in our quality control application, and save the move part as we did before. With this moved reference scope, we would have finished the system preparation and it would be ready for industrial inline inspection. The final industrial system would consist of pieces being scanned over a conveyor belt at high speed. The obtained clouds of points can then be compared against the scope we have obtained in the setup, and finally the differences can be analyzed in order to take any decision on the piece processing. To show this, we will open a cup of a scanned piece that we know has some defects and compare it against the golden cup. We can see below the generated disparity map. The image showing the differences between the model and the scanned object. The green is correct, and here we can see this part where the piece has not been correctly manufactured. This kind of images can be later processed in a standard 2D machine vision toolkit to perform decisions based on the disparity map. This can be based on thresholds, amount of pixels over thresholds, etc. This allows both taking the statistics on the production line or even triggers some mechanical classification of the objects over the conveyor. A quality control application can be continuously scanning every object at high speed, as for every object there will only be a much 3D alignment, disparity map creation and later analysis by any 2D machine vision toolkit. This step works fast enough to be applied to every object going through the quality control machine. The setup of such application requires to establish only one parameter, the ideal code to compare to. This video explains how to obtain this ideal code from a CAD drawing, by using the CAD import tool on the relevant surface, and then using the match 3 example to bring it to the coordinate system of the scan object. Loading cups from disk, aligning them, and getting the disparity map are trivial C++ operations with the South 3D library, of only one line each. Check the South 3D manual for the API details. So, that's it. Thank you very much for your time, and please don't hesitate contacting us for any doubt or comment.